great that we're all getting together right now. My name is Monica Wojcik. I was born actually in Winona, Minnesota on February 18th, 1949. I do have siblings. I have a brother, Rick Black, a brother, Chuck Black. I had a brother, Billy Black, who was killed in a car accident when he was in 1974 when he just turned 16. Mm -hmm. And what's your earliest memory when you saw? Oh, I have many memories. Probably when I was about four years old, I remember I had been living with my grandmother and my mother at my grandma Watson's house in Central Wisconsin. And then my mom married a fellow by the name of Junior Black, and I moved to Montevideo, Minnesota with them, and I attended kindergarten in a little town called Sleepy Eye, Minnesota. And then I did that for a year, and then I went back to Centerville and moved back in with my grandma Watson. The Acorn Ballroom is right across the street, and um, actually I know that my grandma used to love to go there, Grandma Watson, when she was young. She loved to dance. They had dances on the weekends. At one time there was a big field between my grandma's house and the center of a schoolhouse, and she said on Saturday nights that whole field would be filled with cars parked when they had dances. Um, my mother, Dora Lee, used to go over there to dances. She loved to dance, and so did her brother Bill, and her brother Jim, and her sister Joan. And in fact, years down the road, um, I was helping my mother. My mom worked there sometimes, and I was helping her one night, and I met my husband Paul there. And that was, we will be married 41 years. We had our wedding dance there. Grandpa Dwight, uh, he was a character. Grandpa Dwight lived with us for a while. Um, I remember that Grandpa Dwight used to wear a long trench coat and he would come out to the house on Sunday afternoons. He lived in Winona and he would come out with what my, gran what my mother would call his crony friends from Winona. And Grandpa Dwight also always had a pocket full of, or not full, he had a pocket with a bottle of white port wine in it, and he would bring a brown paper sack on Sundays. It would be candy bars from what they called the Hub Bar in Winona. Um, Grandpa liked to cook. I can remember him sitting on a stool, and he had an old meat grinder, and he would make hash and he would grind and grind and grind and he put potatoes and meat and carrots and and he lived with us for quite a while and then he went to live with my uncle Bill and his family. Hmm. I don't remember what year that was. It was like okay. I couldn't tell you what year he went there. But then he lived with Bill and Lois and their family. Oh many, many Many memories of Grandma Watson. I loved her dearly. I probably was as close to my Grandma Watson than as I was my mom because I lived with her from the time I was little most of my life. I lived with her until I was nine years old. And um, she was a wonderful cook. She was very intelligent. She loved to write. She wrote poetry. If, um, she was paralyzed and in a wheelchair, but that didn't stop. Her. Um, she would put the mop bucket in front of her and and she had an old wood stove at one time in the kitchen and when she didn't have good circulation so she'd prop her legs up on that wood stove to warm up. Um, very intelligent lady. I loved her dearly. Um, I think she taught me many things. My love for books that I passed down to my kids, my grandkids. Yeah, just a super nice. And she thought so much of all of her kids and all of her grandkids. And she was a teacher. She was a retired teacher. She got polio. I think she was in her early 40s when she got polio. And like I said, she loved to cook. She was a great baker. She made awesome cinnamon rolls and homemade bread on Fridays and wonderful big fat molasses and sugar cookies. Mm -hmm. I think it's great that we're all getting together right now. 
Um, it's good to see everybody. It's good to see how well everybody's done. I know, I know my Uncle Bill would be so very proud of his kids and all they've accomplished. And my mother and my Uncle Bill were very close. They had um, other siblings. They had my Aunt Joan and my Uncle Jim. They were both school teachers and they were pretty close. And, but my mom and my Uncle Bill were very close. And they had a younger brother, John, who died of diphtheria when he was nine years old. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. Do I hear 20? Anybody going to give 20? 20.